then again laying down our pennies nice and flat onto those pieces of tape getting them <laughs> Skyler and today I'm going to show you all how to make some instruments with some things you have around the house to make some music at home. First off we're going to start by making a shaker just like this one right here. All you'll need for this project is a toilet paper tube, some dried rice, a stapler, and some tape. So let's get started. First off you're going to take your toilet paper tube right here and we're going to close off one end. So go ahead and pinch together those sides and then use your stapler to put two staples in there, just one on either side of the pinch and two. So it's nice and closed just like that. And then just for extra safety, we're gonna use a little bit of tape so that no rice comes spilling out of the sides here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. There we go. Got it all nice and taped up just like that. So now on the other side here, we've got this opening. What you're gonna do is take your dried rice, your uncooked rice, or you can use beans if you have beans lying around, uncooked rice, uncooked beans, either way, they will make a little bit of a different sound. Uh, I'm using some uncooked rice today though. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna pour in your rice as best you can. Spill a whole bunch all over the counter because that's what makes it fun. And then you don't wanna fill up your tube completely. You want to fill it maybe not quite halfway, just a little less than halfway because it needs room to move around, right? So once you've got your rice in there, I'm going to top mine off. There we go. Great. What you're going to do is you're going to close down the other side. So see how we pinch this side flat like this? Well, we're going to pinch the other opening opposite of that. So kind of taking the sides instead of the top and bottom here, we're going to pinch so that we've got more of a cone going on and we're going to close it just like before with our stapler and tape one and two get a little bit of tape tape up that opening so that none of your rice comes out because we wouldn't want to spill more rice on the counter than we already have and voila you've got yourself your very own shaker just like a maraca you can shake it out and the best part is you can take some markers, feathers, beads, anything you've got lying around the house and decorate your shaker. I put a CCM on there. It's backwards in the camera, but that's for Chicago Children's Museum. So that's how you make your very own shaker out of a toilet paper tube at home. Okay, next we're going to make a castanet, just like this one right here. And it'll make a nice clicking sound when we're done. Uh, so all we'll need for a castanet is a paper plate, this lovely fairy tale paper plates is going to become my castanet. Uh, some coins, I've got some pennies here. I do recommend you use pennies because they're lighter. Quarters might be a little too much. Also, very valuable, you know, that laundry money. Uh, and then we'll also need some tape. All right, so first what we're going to do is take the paper plate and we're gonna fold it in half. If your paper plate has a raised edge, kind of like this one right here, then I recommend you fold it so that the raised edges touch each other, just like that, folding it inside on itself. If it doesn't have a raised edge, it won't matter quite as much uh, which way you fold it. Just wanna make sure that we're making contact there. So go ahead and fold your paper plates, just like that, into a nice halfway hard shell taco. Excellent. Now what we're going to do is take our tape and we're going to do this fun trick with our tape. If you have single sided tape like I do, then you're going to need to make it double sided by taking it and folding it over itself so that it touches itself. And now you have a little roll of sticky tape on all sides. So what we're going to do is take our sticky tape and hold up our little taco shell, put our tape right down onto the edge there. And we're going to repeat that process for the rest of our tape. I'm using six pieces of tape, so that'll be three on the top of the taco shell and three on the bottom of the taco shell. So we're going to space those out however we want. I'm going to put one right on the side here. And then I'm going to put another one onto the opposite side over here. 
All right, see, so that's one, two, three right there. And if I flip it over, I'm gonna repeat that process right here on the other side. So again, folding our tape, making our nice little tape rolls out of our single-sided tape. One in the center. One onto each side. Right over to there. And this part is where it gets a little tricky, okay? You wanna make sure that you're lining your tape up with the other side. So what I like to do is kind of pinch it, not so it's closed, but so that it looks like it's about to touch so that you can see where your tape is. And then you wanna push it down and make sure that they're matching each other. That's gonna be really important to get the sound that you want out of it. All right, so let's do that again with our last piece of tape. Again, we're checking. We want to fold it just until it's close to touching. And then we want to line it up so that our tape is going to match. Perfect. All right, now it's time to add our pennies. So again, you want to kind of fold it down. You can start out by putting your pennies here onto the center one. Nice and easy. Putting them down on the bottom is a little more, you know, wherever you'd like, right? So just putting them down onto those piece of tape, pieces of tape. Make sure you press really good. Get them really nice and sticky. All right, now flip it over. Pennies are on the top. Same thing we did with the tape. Kind of close it, not all the way, but just enough so that you can make sure that if they were to be closed, your pennies would be touching as you place down your bottom pennies, okay? See how those two right there? Perfect. We're gonna do the same thing in the center. Uh, see, I didn't line up my center pieces of tape very well, so that's no problem. I'm gonna just ooch that one right over a little bit so that it's a little bit closer to where I want it. Now my pennies can line up better. Perfect. And last but not least. And now, once you've pressed all those pennies down, you have your very own castanet. Now, I'm getting a little bit of stickiness with this castanet. I used two big of pieces of tape. You might wanna use smaller pieces of tape so that your tape doesn't stick to it as it tries to reopen. But you hear that nice clicking sound? This one I used a lot more pennies. You can kind of tell the difference there. It's a smaller plate too. Now that you've made either your shaker or your paper plate, I thought it'd be fun if we played a song together. One of my favorite songs is Down by the Bay by Raffi. So I'm gonna play and sing right here on my ukulele. You can play along with your shaker or your castanet. Sing along if you know it. And let's get it going. Ready? Down by the bay melons grow back to my home I dare not go for if I do my mother will say did you ever see a goose kissing a moose down by the bay down by the bay where the watermelons grow back to my home I dare not see a whale with a polka dot tail down by the bay down by the bay where the watermelons grow back to my home I dare not go or if I do my mother will say did you ever see a fly wearing a tie down by the bay down by the bay where the watermelons grow to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a bear combing his hair, down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. see llamas eating their pajamas down by the bay down by the bay where the watermelons grow back to my home I dare not go or if I do my mother will say did you ever see an apple um um 
Wearing a bapple. Hmm. That doesn't rhyme. Uh, what about, did you ever see an orange? Um, um, smorange. Hmm. Did you ever have a time when you couldn't make a rhyme down by the bay? Thanks for joining me. Have a good one.